Model 5 first. This is scale equivalent of it. Also just figured I'd take the time to show you how I actually set up these uh, tape drum sirens and type of motor that I actually used to drive them in order to uh, get the best tones out. But it's basically a uh, BLDC IBM Desk Star or Death Star hard disk drive motor, a three and a half inch format, complete with the uh, running board. This is a SCSI drive, so this is one of the high speed ones, but doesn't matter what it is, it will work. But uh, these are basically what I use in order to run these sirens. Then there's a uh, basically a rubber boots, just a uh, rubber tire off a model truck that lost all its wheels. So I use that as a um, basically like a coupling, so I can join the uh, the shaft of the siren head to the the motor, since there is no actual motor shaft on these drives. There's a little hole in the centre there, but that's actually stationary. That doesn't spin. So that's what holds the other uh, top cover of the disc drive down. But make sure when you do use these, you get not just the motor but also that uh, logic board because that's what we use to uh, basically drive the, the actual motor. They're really easy to remove as well. But that's uh, that's it there. I made up a nice little uh, loom for it so I can carry the power and the. Uh, variable speed and everything all the way up to the other uh, motor and it just drives it like that it's very easy and it's exactly the same with this one here it's just your uh, your siren and then your hard disk drive motor this one winds down a bit quicker because I've put a, a couple of flywheel weights on the top just to make it give a, a longer coast down I mean that uh, that used to be a siren as well that top one but it, uh, it messed the tone up of that one so I cut the stator off it but it uh, it works all the same and that's out of casing for that one just slides over it allows it to spin freely there's the uh, scale model of the model 5 that I built it's just an old soup can with all the uh, relevant ports and holes cut in it and that just fits over those little bolts there are what hold it on place so it's uh, completely independent of the actual siren there's nothing holding that in place except these and it uh, works really well so I thought you would like to see that thanks for watching <laughs>